Um, it's okay to let people go who are not contributing to you. You can wish them well and love them from a distance, like I said earlier. It's okay to distance yourself and allow the reality that feelings and relationships change, especially when there is sin involved. And my older son is going through that type of situation right now, and I've been through it recently in my own life within relationships and friendships. And I'm just like, wow, it like seeing him going through his feelings are changing. He had something happen where someone treated him very poorly, very, very, very disrespectfully. And he was like, mom, you know, like, have I not forgiven this person? Because I feel like I, you know, I've gone to God, I've asked for forgiveness. This person has asked me for forgiveness. I can tell this person is sorry. But my feelings have changed, Mom. I just don't really see them the same way. And I don't know if something's wrong with me. Have I not forgiven them? And I'm like, well, if you've asked God for, if they've asked you for forgiveness and you've extended, you've said I've forgiven them, like, and you've gone to God with it and you've bared your heart out before God about the pain and suffering and you feel like, I don't have animosity or bitterness towards this person. Like, can you pray for them? Can you pray for that person that hurt you? Um, and can you intercede for them? Can you ask God to bless them? If you can do all those things, then you've probably forgiven them. Honestly, you've probably forgiven them. But if you can't pray for them and you're like, I'm not going to pray for them. Believe me, I've been there. God has worked on my heart. I, I, I have been there where I'm like, God. And I told my son that. I was like, it took a while. It took a while. I was like so angry. I was angry and I was like, you know what, God? I am so hurt, you know? And, and, and that was the thing that the anger just lasts for a little bit. But then it is the woundedness of hurt and, and betrayal and just feeling like, like, you're unloved and unwanted and that you're rejection rejected you guys rejection is terrible rejection is so terrible it's terrible to go through that when you feel like someone that you love and trusted betrayed you or doesn't want to have anything to do with you anymore or is treating you like scum of the earth and you're just like whoa that is so betrayal and heartache and rejection when someone rejects you it is so hard. It's so hard. But my, uh, I guess what I feel is that if you're able to pray for that person, you've been talking and walking through it with the Lord. You've been saying, change my heart. I don't want to have bitterness. I don't want a root of bitterness to go in my heart to where I'm unforgiving of this person and what they've done. I want to show mercy because you've showed me mercy. You've forgiven me of much God. And so I feel like if you've done all that and you get to a place where you're like, I have, I wish them well. I wish them well. I, I want you to bless them, God. I want you to open up heaven and, and answer their prayers that they're praying for you. I want good things for them, Lord. Um, I agree with the prayers that they're praying according to your perfect will, Lord, over their lives. So you know, I can, I can intercede for them when I feel that the Lord is putting them on my heart. Um, but I, but, but it's, is it okay that I just don't want to hang out with them anymore? Of course. And I told my son that, you know what, the problem is that if sin is involved in a relationship and it goes south, then unfortunately that's a consequence. Sin brings consequences. And so just because your feelings have changed for a relationship, just because your feelings are like, wow, you know what? I just, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't want to hang around them anymore. I don't want to be available to them anymore. And it's not because I'm mad at them anymore. It's not because, you know, I don't love them in the Lord. I know they're my brother or my sister, or maybe they're not. But I love them with a Christ-like love. I'm praying for them. But no, I just, I don't want to put myself in their friend circle anymore. You guys, that is completely okay. And it doesn't mean anything bad. It means actually that spiritual maturity when you get to that point. And that's what I told my son. You can't expect to go through a relationship that has no fruit, is not growing in the Lord. That person is not walking in the Lord in this situation. And 
there's, you know, there's no, um, even though there's true repentance on their part, it's okay that, because you know, because sin brings consequences. Sin brings consequences, and it's okay to let people leave your life. It is okay to let people leave your life. And so that's what, you know, I have had to learn, and it's okay to let people move on. It's okay for them to, and, and my son had to learn that too, and he's just shocked. He's like, I can't believe that I actually feel that way, mom. Like, I can't believe that my feelings have changed. And you know, he's 16. He's going through teenage stuff, teenage high school drama for your mama. You know, so I'm just like, believe it or not, you'll meet other girls and you will have other crushes and life goes on. But it's important to learn these things now that, you know what, when someone treats you bad, you can love them from a distance and you can move on and you can forgive them, but you don't have to act like, pretend it's all okay when it's not okay and that it's okay to move on. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you got something that was really, really good for you today. I know that um, God has such great plans and a purpose for your life. For Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to bring you hope and a good future. And so that is God's will for your life, to bring beautiful spiritual maturity and blessings into your life and and to walk with him hand in hand and Jesus Christ loves you so much and so do I so make sure that um, you check out the next video in this series so that you get some more of God's love for you see you guys in the next video bye bye for today you know the fact that people judge us as Christians and say that we're judgmental is them judging us. So you can't live in a world. We have judges that judge crimes. I mean, we have to judge and there's a right way to do it and a godly way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. And what God wants us to do is he wants us to practice in our relationships and friendships. He wants us to practice. It's okay. It's okay to practice righteous judgment. It's okay to practice godly discernment and that is okay and that's what we should do and we should examine the fruit of the fruit coming from people's lives because we'll know the we'll know a person by their fruit 